Hello, what's up, Libra? Welcome back to my channel. I am Aji, and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. I'm so happy it's the weekend, y'all. So happy. Today, I mean, it was a very eventful week, at least for myself. For some of you, yes. You know, on my little phone call check-ins. For those of you who don't know about my phone call check-ins, that is never something that I'm only going to do on my channel. That's just something that I add to my channel. It's just... It's just something while I'm on the move and I can't, like, set up like this. And I want to check in with you guys, see how you guys are doing. Um, that's all it's for. So, I understand a lot of you guys like this. It's like a little bit more intimate. I guess seeing my hands and seeing it in live motion. I even like this a little bit more. But I feel like a lot of you guys also really like my phone calls. It's not like when I do my phone calls. Don't nobody be showing in no love now. <laughs> but yeah. So um, in case you guys were wondering. No, this is not something that I'm. My phone calls is not something that I will ever permanently do. No. I like the traditional tarot readings, which I always say, but just in case. Um, so, how y'all doing? Libra, y'all all right? Because, let me tell you, this last, these last couple weeks now, a lot of shit has been happening. So, we're going to see. I need to know. Okay. Also, synchronicities like crazy. Synchronicities. I've been seeing so many synchronicities like crazy. So many of them. So, let's see what Libra got going on. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Why am I taking out double cards? That's good. That's good. That's good. You showed up in your reading. Okay, you showed up here. You can't. This is a terrible angle. I'm sorry, y'all, but. <laughs> the readings I be saying be like this anyway. Okay, so Libra, overall, I see a lot of change for you. You have the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So overall, I feel like um, you're stable right now. Like, you're doing good financially. You could be spending a lot, a lot of money on yourself, but you're doing good financially, basically. You're doing good. You're content. You're stable. I can also see that um, some most of you guys are single. Let's see, something behind it wanted, wanted to show up. So most of you guys are single, and you're traveling you're also on your right path you're focused on your future some of you guys are single you're content you're just doing better you're trying to get better okay trying to get better i feel like what you're letting go and that's so crazy i was just talking about this on my phone call is weighing out things that's what I feel like, like trying to bring everything to balance, trying to be everybody's judge, which is like, I feel like something's going to hit you intensely because this is Mars. Mars is still in Leo. So this is Mars and Leo's energy. Like Libra will come, come from being the judge just to start living. So instead of trying to see where everybody's come from, try, instead of trying to see what all aspects of life and be that judge that you normally are. You're letting that go. You're also letting that, that drain. Because, listen, this energy drains you. And you want to stop feeling drained. So, some of you guys may keep this up after um, Leo leaves. After uh, Mars leaves Leo. Because this is draining you. Like, you've learned, like, okay, this this way of doing things is really draining me. Like, it's, it's, it's bothering me, okay? And you're letting that go, that drained energy. I feel like that drained energy of having to do everything right, that drained energy of having to weigh out the options and say the right things, like, you're leaving that behind, okay? 
You also got wooey. I hope that's that's <laughs> I hope that's how you say it. You saying it. Um You're, you're stopping, you're not exerting all your strength to something. You're letting go. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like this has to be right here. And also, you're, you're taking your emotions out of it. Some of you guys had some high emotions in, in some type of situation where you had to balance it. it. Also, some of you guys could be letting go of a Sagittarius that was draining you, okay? Um... But I feel like you're letting, you're, you're taking all of your emotions, your emotions and your deep, deep feelings out of something. You're not exerting all of your energy. You're letting go. You found out what was depleting your energy and you said, you know what? That's team too much. Now, what you're, what you're accepting, what you're embracing, you're embracing yourself. You're embracing yourself. You're embracing the fact that you're growing. You're embracing the fact that you are love, Okay. You're embracing your growth. That's what I feel. And you're also getting to, you're getting your dreams done. Like I said, you're moving at the bottom of the deck. We have the nine of pentacles with the two of wands. You're moving on with something. You're taking all of you and you're moving on with something. You might have left something behind, okay? Just to move on, just to make your load a little bit lighter. You may have left a lot of things behind. I feel like this is the time too where not only do you leave stuff behind based off of people and things, but you leave shit behind that you actually brought into your life. Now let's talk about it, Libra, okay? But you're embracing yourself. You're embracing acting. You're embracing your um, creativity. You may also be acting. Okay, you're embracing that. You're embracing all of the beauty of yourself instead of seeing the beauty in other people and things that are outside of you. You're embracing seeing the beauty of what is inside of you. You could also be growing. You see something growing inside of you that's beautiful and you're embracing it. Like what I tell y'all yesterday. Your light is beautiful, my dear, okay? You need to let that light shine. You're also embracing something that's valuable to you. There's something that you are holding on to. And this is not, I don't feel like this is negative. Um, I feel like you're holding on to that is so much value. And you have to choose on holding on to that thing versus leaving, versus going through another door. I feel like you're holding on to yourself this time. That's what I feel. For this four of uh, pinnacles energy. I feel like you're holding on to yourself. You're not really caring about like you're, you're I feel like some of you guys have let yourselves go um, mentally, physically. Um, but I feel like some of you guys have definitely let yourselves go. And some of you guys are um, finally getting back to you. And you understand that it has to be a choice. It's like me or them. And you're choosing you. And you're not letting go, okay? You're also embracing some type of choice that you have to make. And you can all, you're can you also going to embrace the fact that you took some time, that you prolonged some type of choice, that it was some time to choose. Like, you were confused for a while. You're embracing that energy as well, okay? You didn't know something. You see that, that, um, that moon? You thought that you didn't know something. You thought something was hidden, so that... that um, that stopped your choice. That stopped your choice making skills. But now, now you're in a place where you're like, no, I'm embracing some type of choice that I need. I see clearly that there's a choice that I need to make and I'm embracing it. I feel like this has a lot to do with you. Then you have the eight of swords, okay? And I feel like a lot of you guys could embrace the fact that sometimes it's fear, like, I feel like a lot of you guys are embracing the fact that that thing that you're scared of is not real. It's in your head. Because the ace that's what the Ace of Swords is. It is all in your head. The Eight of Swords. It's feeling restricted. It's fear preventing you from moving. It's low confidence. It's overthinking. Okay? It's just all in your head. And you embracing that for a long time. All this shit just been in your head. It was not out there in your normal world. Or some of you guys could have made something seem bigger than what it is, okay? You're embracing that right now. And I feel like a lot of you guys have a choice to make in your lives. 
whether you're going to um, still play small or you're going to start playing big. Which one is it? Which one is it? You could even be drained doing this. This is disrupting your energy. You you could be drained being the judge for the chaos. You could be drained. You can continue doing that. Or you can step inside of you and see what's actually growing inside of you. And I feel like I feel like you you realize. Also, I can feel like some of you guys have accepted the fact that you hold or you held on to a lot of shit that kept you from moving. That stalled you from moving. Okay, I got to say that. Okay, so what's coming in the next few in, in the in, in the next um the near future, the very near future. I feel like some of you guys are gonna feel like giving up on something, but I feel like I feel like this was the task of giving up on something like this, um, this front row, you know, you, you, you giving up being there for everyone else and not being there for yourself, putting your strength in everything and everybody else and not putting it into yourself. Okay. Being, having this disruptive, disruptive energy, whether it is mental energy or if it's, um, outside people, if you exerting your energy. And also feeling out of control, or you can embrace yourself. You can embrace actually what you, you can stay on your journey. That's how I feel about this. You got the nine of wands here. I feel like some of you guys are going to get there. Like, it takes a lot right now. Like, it, it, this could have been a tough week for y'all. This could have been a tough week for y'all. Don't worry. I got some, I got some, I got some food in my bag for you. Not the kind of food that you eat. Is food for thought, okay? Shout out to Erica Badu. Anyways, um, I feel like some of you guys, you have a lo love offer coming through, or there's a boost, a big burst of creativity with this page of cups, okay? Somebody, there could be some type of, type of news that makes you extremely happy. Also, some of you guys could be getting some news of pregnancy because we do have the Empress here. There could be some type of news with pregnancy. Then we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay? There is also you being put in a position where you share with others. I've been seeing money a lot for you guys. Make sure you're vibrating on that same frequency. Okay? And we got the Ace of Cups. Full abundance. Like, full abundance. Okay? The oh, Your ultimate happiness. I feel like Libra... Ultimately, when you become when you become strong enough, and I feel like because a lot of a lot of us, we think. Let me see, because these you can't really see these on it. Okay, well it's it's all right. Make sure if you can see. A lot of us we become so consumed with what we're doing, and if we're doing enough, that once you stop, and it's so hard to stop because we look at it as. We are the judges, so we usually judge everything right and wrong. And when you grow through life, you realize that there's no such thing as right and wrong. Like, you could spend this time focusing on yourself and not focusing on everybody else. And people, they can be like, "This she's stuck up. She's so self-centered. That's all she care about. But little do they know, you're doing the right thing for your soul. You're doing the right thing for you, for where you've been in life, okay? You're doing the right thing for yourself. They don't know that. So I feel like instead of being a judge, and you know, the temperance re um, represents alchemy to me. So let's bring everything together. You could have been that, that one who brought everything together and that shit was draining you. That's how I feel. Like that it was draining you. Trying to, oh, you could have been trying so hard to bring everything together and it was just draining you. Okay. I feel like a lot of you guys could have got some time right now for yourself to see what's actually growing inside of you. See what's actually happening inside of you. Let me shuffle this one more time. Let's fill in another shuffle. <clears throat> okay, let's get into this reading. 
tell me more about the temperance. Darn it. Okay. Got the King of Swords. That's, I feel like this, this is, a, I gotta hold this like this so y'all can see it. It's kind of like a holographic card, like, um, but you got the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords. So some of you guys could be letting go a Sagittarius or an Aquarius, or you you letting go some type of idea. You're challenging your own assumptions. There was so so much difficulty changing your mind about this. Like you really felt like you had to play, be in this position where your energy was disrupted, where you had to do a lot of things for other people. This card looks terrible on here, but anyway, we're gonna keep going. You had to do a lot of things for other people, but. Now you're thinking some. Now you're looking at something a little bit clo closer. Now you're looking at yourself. Now you're critiquing yourself. Like, no, 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 no. Something's got to give. No, 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 no. That's not where it's at. Also, that can be an Aquarius. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords for Libra. You know what? <laughs> if this reading is resonating with you, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. You got the four of pentacles and the ace of cups. So, I feel like a lot of you guys were holding on to this idea, holding on to the fact that you had to be there for everybody else because you know about good deeds. And you feel like, you know, I get blessed for all these things. And you have. You have. No important work goes unnoticed. You have been getting blessed by that, but you have also been being drained, been feeling drained by it as well. You also have been feeling drained by this thing, even though you've been getting blessed by it, okay? And I feel like some, some of you guys could have wanted to be a blessing. You could also want to do the right thing. You could feel good. You could feel like that you are moving from a... Um, some of you guys could feel like... You're, you're pouring from a cup that's overflowing when the four of pentacles is scared to let go because they don't have enough. They feel like they don't have enough. So this is, this is you conflicting. It would be okay if you were pouring from your saucer. If you guys don't know what I mean, you know, your cup overflow. You don't want to just pour from your full cup because then that's going to deplete yourself. You see the Ace of Cups, the, uh, the the cup is overflowing. Some of you guys thought that you were, you were serving from your overflow, but you ended up, you ended up depleting yourself in the end. You ended up feeling drained in the end. Feeling stabbed and, and not just drained. Like, this is the card of betrayal. I guess some of you guys felt like when it was time for whatever you were pouring into to pour back into you, they ain't had no water for you. And that shit sucks. Like, that sucks. Tell me more about Woo Wee. Woo Wai. You got the Queen of Wands. You're not exerting all your energy trying to be seen by some people. Some of you guys could have also been doing these good deeds for some people to to um recognize them. Not saying you just did it for just, you know, some clout or whatever, but you you wanted you wanted people to recognize that you're a great human being. And now you're you're exerting, you're not putting your energy in people seeing you in a certain type of light. You like Take me. I am beautiful. My light shines regardless. Okay? I don't have to put all this energy to show that I'm that I am a sacred soul, basically. That I'm good people. You should know. You should look at me and know that I'm good people. For some of you guys, you're tired. Okay? Also, you're taking your you're, you're taking your feelings, your deep feelings out of something. Tell me more about the King of Cups. Deep feelings out of some type of group. Some of you guys could have been doing this for a group. Could have been overexerting yourself for some type of group. Putting too much energy for some type of group. You're also taking your deep feelings out of people supporting you with your dreams. You don't need people to support. You don't need a whole support team for your, for your dreams and shit. Like, you can do it by yourself. And support gonna come. 
But I feel like you're taping you're taking your you're taking your energy out of some people around you. This just this is kind of confirmed um this is kind of confirmed where I was going with this whole thing with this 3 of cups coming up. You're taking your energy out of that. Your feelings out of something. It could be a relationship. But you like you hopped out your feelings and hopped in your bag. Basically, tell me more about the Empress. And you showed up here, too, in the right place. In the right place. You're embracing the fact that you are growing and all that shit was in your mind. This is deep, Libra. This is deep. For you to get to a place where you like, no... All that shit was in my mind. It was not real. This was not something that's, that that was real. All of this, it was in my mind. I, so I made some of this shit up, okay? Some things really did happen, but I made up those things that I had to overexert myself, and I have to... I made that stuff up. You're embracing that. And then now you're getting into a place where you're embracing your true you, because... None of this, none of this top layer of you overexerting your energy and you trying and trying and trying for people to see you in some type of light. None of that is you. All of those things that you told yourself on why you have to overexert yourself, none of that was you. That's what you told yourself that you had to do. But you don't have to do any of it. You don't have to do any of these things. This was this fear speaking to you. Some of you guys are getting back down to um, your inner child. Your, 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 your understanding what happened. What did you tell yourself you had to be because of some things that happened in your past? Let me know if this resonating with you. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles. Some of you guys are really letting go of the shit that kept you stuck. You're embracing letting go and you got something new. You're passionate about something new. You got the um what's this? The page of the page of pentacles. You're embracing something new. You have a new idea. Also, I feel like something definitely could be coming. Some type of good news could be coming. You could also be letting go of like I said, you're taking your feelings out of some group. You can be letting go of some type of false idea of friendship, some type of false people, getting your feelings up out of it, and embracing some type of loyal friend. Somebody extended the olive branch. Something is good for you. Something, something is good news. You're embracing something new. You're letting go of the old and embracing the new. Hallelujah. Okay? Tell me more about the two of swords. But all right then. <clears throat> okay, you got the judgment card with the hermit card both in reverse. And I feel like these are your choices. Just when Major Icon to come out with the two of swords, two of um with the two of wands, two of swords, two of pinnacles, I feel like these are your choices. Okay, for some of you guys. You're embracing that there was some type of choice. I feel like, on, and also you're embracing the stall of a choice. I feel like there's something that didn't go in your favor that can represent itself again with the justice card in the reverse. There's something that didn't go in your favor. Also, I feel like something, you were in denial with something. You were afraid of something and you were afraid. I feel like you were afraid of change. You also could have been judging something really, really wrong, okay? Someone really wrong. Um, but you were scared of change. And I feel like some of you guys felt weakened. And I feel like that's why you overexerted yourself. I feel that as well. Like you overexerted yourself, you probably didn't want anyone to see that you were lacking. Because a lot of people who overexert themselves to help, 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 they don't ask for help. Because they have some type of, it's, 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 it's minor, but they have some type of idea that asking for help equates weakness. You're embracing all of that. you also embracing some type of isolation, some loneliness that you may be feeling. Something is going to bring you, you something, that you're do, something that you're doing is going to disconnect you from the collective. 
okay? Also, I feel like strongly, Libra, you don't want to repeat the same mistakes. Some of you guys have been through an excruciating time, and you just don't want to repeat the same mistakes, okay? Tell me more about the Eight of Swords, please. This is the Eight of Swords popped up twice. So this is definitely in your mind. And I feel like you have a choice. You have options about this now. Now that you can see clearly that, you know what, I'll be making some of this stuff up. Or, you know, I've told myself that I had to be this, you know, overexert myself to people. And, you know, that those things. Since you told yourself those things, I feel like now that you can see, you can also create some type of balance in your life. And you have a choice. You have a choice to make. Tell me more about the Nine of Wands, please. There was some disappointing news that kind of threw you off your game a little bit, but now you're back. You're back. Some disappointing news. Could have been some type of lawsuit. Could have been gossip. Could have heard your name. It just could have been a disappointing, a, a, a tough time for you. But some type of disappointing news, some type of delayed news threw you off your game a bit. The Page of Cups, you got the King of Cups now. Okay, so some type of Scorpio. Okay, it could be a Scorpio or just a person who has deep, deep feelings for you. They're going to tell you. I feel like somebody who has some type of deep feelings for you, they're going to tell you this. Um... This could be a new person. This could be an old person. This ain't really a love reading. It's just general, okay? Um, tell me more about the Six of Pentacles. We're going to get into love and the next one. I promise. Yep. Something's happening. It's happening fast. If you haven't seen my 11-11 um, video, you need to watch that. Um, especially if you've been seeing 11-11 a lot. I have 11-11 phone call for Libras. It's messages like, that number has been dragging me for months. Like, when I tell you, months, okay? Um, and I got some cool meetings, but this was one of them on there. There's something that's going to come fast, okay? That's what you have, fast, being blessed, being in a position where you can share from, for, um, where you can give to other people. And I feel that a lot of you guys are going to make sure that you're giving in a way that it's not depleting you at all. You're giving from your saucer because you've been here before. I feel like a lot of you guys, you're realizing this is self-love 101. Especially for those light workers out there who give to the, to, to the collective. This is like self-love 101, okay? You can't really, you want to give, but you can't really give to a person if you don't have enough. And it may feel like you have enough, but you got to check. You got at the bottom of the deck, you got the Ten of Pentacles. And I always say the Eight of Cups is going to his Ten. You got the Ten of Pentacles. The, ace of cup, the Eight of Cups is going to that Ace. You left all that stuff. All this stuff in the past, past that was not serving you, you walked away. Or you will be walking away soon. Okay? And you will be blessed. You got the Ten. ten. Some of you guys are seeing Ten Tens. This is total new energy. Got the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, total new energy. Then you standing behind here, the Justice card. Justice card standing right behind. There could also be a baby in here. Some of you guys could be getting pregnant soon or starting a family soon. Congratulations if you guys are, have just found recently found out you're pregnant. Or um, I wish you nothing but love and light if you guys are trying to um, receive. I wish you nothing but fertility, okay? Thank you so much, Libra, for being here with me today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. And make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video.